Assalamu alaikum students. Welcome to your online English lecture. In today's class, we're going to study some grammar points about the present tense. What to do when we need to change simple present into present continuous tense? Please note that the simple present tense does not use a helping verb. Instead, it simply uses the first form of verb, followed by S, E, S or I, E, S as suffixes. The present continuous tense uses the helping verbs is, am, and are, followed by the main verb in its ing form. The ing form shows the continuous nature of the action. I write a letter. This sentence is a simple present tense sentence. Why? Because it does not have a helping verb and its main verb is written it in its first form. In order to convert this into a continuous sentence, we use the helping verb am followed by the ing form of main verb. I am writing a letter. We get up at 6. We are getting up at 6. R here shows that the subject is plural. We travel to the port of Spain. We are traveling to the port of Spain. The shopkeeper ties up the parcel. The shopkeeper is tying up the parcel. Here, the main subject, the shopkeeper, is singular. So, in the simple present tense, the main verb tie is followed by S. So, it becomes ties. And in the continuous tense, we've used the helping verb is. In order to convert present continuous tense into its interrogative or question form, we simply have to change the position of the helping verb and place it in the beginning of the sentence. I am writing a letter will change into am I writing a letter? Are we getting up at 6? Are we traveling to the port of Spain? Is the shopkeeper tying up the parcel? All of these are interrogative sentences in the present continuous tense. Now, how do we convert the present perfect tense into its negative form? The present perfect tense uses the helping verbs has and have followed by the third form of verb. And in order to convert it into a negative sentence, we simply have to add not between the helping verb and the main verb. Examples, I dash a picture and the main verb will be just draw. Draw will be changed into its third form drawn. So the resulting sentence would be I have just drawn a picture and the negative form will be I have not just drawn a picture. The train from Paris dash arrive. The past participle or the third form is arrived. So, the sentence would be the train from Paris has arrived or and the train from Paris has not arrived is the negative form. My friend dash the pyramids. See, the past participle of see is seen. So, the sentence will go like my friend has seen the pyramids. My friend has not seen the pyramids. I dash all the cakes. I have eaten all the cakes. I have not eaten all the cakes. Let's go through some regular and irregular verbs. Regular verbs are those verbs that simply need to be uh, need to add ed as a suffix in order to change into its third form or past participle, while irregular verbs change their spellings in order to convert into their past participle form. Write changes into written and it is an irregular verb as its spelling changes completely. Ride changes into written. Catch changes into caught. Teach changes into taught. And pay changes into paid. All of these do not require the addition of ed so, they are all examples of irregular verbs. Now, your assignment is that you have to read from your unit 5, page number 112, the 
newspaper article by the topic going going gone understand this article underline the difficult words and write their meanings and we will discuss this article in the next class see you all next time allah hafiz